Hello third graders and welcome to the word study video for the green sort number seven. And for this sort, we are going to be taking a look at plural nouns. Just a reminder, nouns are people, places, things, or ideas. And to make it plural means more than one. Typically when we want to make a noun plural, we just need to add an S. However, in this sort, we're going to look at when we need to add the ES instead of just the S. So go ahead and pause the video and so that you can write down the title and of course add today's date in the top right hand corner. Okay, now that you have your title and your date written in your word study notebook, we are going to begin by looking at the categories. So this week we're going to focus on words where you add the ES. And you add ES when nouns end with CH S H X or S. So again, when a singular noun, one noun, ends with an C H S H X or S, we're going to add the E S to make it plural. So that's going to be four of our categories C H, words that end with C H words that end with sh, words that end with x, words that end with s. However, to make it a little more complicated, I'm gonna give you four words where you simply add the s. And then of course, there's going to be one oddball word that breaks the rule. Okay, let's begin with the words where we add the ES. So singular nouns that end with CH, for example, bench. To make bench, benches, we add the ES. And you actually hear, we say the ES as is, benches. The other words in this category are speeches. Scratches churches so church churches peach becomes peaches sketch becomes sketches a sketch is a drawing, kind of a fast drawing with pencil usually. Ditch, kind of a dip in the side of the road becomes ditches. Branch becomes branches. And the last CH word is watch, which you would use to tell time watches. So again, all of these singular nouns end with ch, bench, speech, scratch, church. And then to make it plural or more than one, we simply add the es to the end. And we also do that with singular nouns that end with sh. For example, brush becomes brushes. Excuse me, S Zeus. Splash becomes splashes. Crash becomes crashes. Zeus, come here. Come. Ash becomes ashes. And Oh, Zeus is 
gonna love this word, leash becomes leashes. So those are the words that end when they're a singular noun, they end with SH. So to make it plural, they're gonna add the ES. And again, this rule also applies to singular nouns that end with X and that end with S. So for example, fox becomes foxes and mix becomes mixes. Guess becomes guesses. Kiss, ah, kiss becomes kisses. And class becomes classes. Try to zoom in a little bit here. Oh my goodness, Zeus. All right, continuing on, we have, also I've thrown in here four words that end with the magic E, like horse, voice, change, and place. Now, when we make these plural, they're still going to have the is sound at the end, but you only have to add the S because the E is already there. So horse becomes horses, voice becomes voices, change becomes changes, and place becomes places. So again, all of these words technically have the ES that says is, however, um, you only have to add the S because the E is already there. Okay, ready for our oddball? If you haven't already guessed, our oddball is clothes. So clothes, like what you wear, ends with the ES, but we don't say is. We don't say clothes. It just comes off as the Z sound, clothes. All right, make sure you have all these written down in the correct categories so that you're ready for your test on Friday.